I used to buy things because I thought that that would bring me joy. We would take trips, places. I think I was always reaching to find happiness. We'd get to the end of the month and we wouldn't have money to pay bills and things like that and I would be blaming Jenny for all of that. I was threatening to divorce Jenny and that was not her way of thinking of a marriage. If there's only one marriage, this is my marriage. I'm in it for the long haul and God help us figure out how to do it, um, but I needed help. I ended up reaching out and found an incredible men's ministry pastor and he sat me down and talked reality to me. And then he gave me a verse to read and it talks about how God owns everything in the world. I mean, during this whole process for me, I realized I could have a personal relationship with Jesus um, and I didn't know that before. That was a tough part, that I wish I'd had known that before. But what Jesus was telling me is that all these things that I have in my life all belong to Him. It wasn't mine at all. And it changed my theology right there. I actually came home to Jenny after praying about this, and I said, you know, we've got to put everything up for sale, and I'm, I had to apologize to her first. And the only thing that we have left from that time was our house. And it's been God's house ever since. Mm -hmm. My joy was actually my relationship with Jesus. I didn't need to get that from Jenny. I didn't need to get that from the kids. I didn't need to get any of that from the things that I purchased. I needed to get that from Jesus alone.